What's going on, everybody? This is Lemon Drop 14, and I'm back with Tony Stewart's Brick Car Racing Action coming to you live from Arrowwood in South Carolina, four tenths of a mile. Why not call it two fifths? I'm not sure. But what we have here tonight is a weird shape. Are they going to call that a D shaped oval? I don't know. Anywho, let's get to it, see if we can't get a top five. I don't know. All right, they want us to get a 14.37. Let's just see how out of the ballpark we are. Hopefully not very far. This is a pretty high bank track, according to the rating thing beforehand. Let's just see how accurate I find that to be. Whoa! Oh, I didn't want to back it in that much. Jeez, a peep. Is this going to be a burping track where I have to burp it a little? Maybe. Hopefully not. Man, once it goes, it boy, it turns on you, doesn't it? Holy snikes. Snikes? Snikes, anyway. Just like every other track, just gotta be delicate with it, I think. <clears throat> just kinda let it float through the corners. This dog leg in the front stretch is gonna really mess with me, I'm afraid. But it is what it is. Did we get the goal? We did not. I'm going to mess with the RPMs just for a second and see if we can't uh, get a little bit more RPMs out of the car. Just do one total point. Hopefully that is enough. <clears throat> Don't want another situation where the motor was overheating. Because, uh, yeah, hot motors um, blow up and we don't want to do that. Looking pretty good right now. You see, the main reason I want to have the higher RPMs is I feel like this car really, the weight of these cars rather, really hinder them sometimes. Whoa, kept coming around on me. And uh, if you can get up and go a little bit quicker with your RPMs, I think that really, really helps. We did make the goal there, so I'm going to complete this lap and just move right on to qualifying and it wasn't faster what a letdown all right next session please what's the what's the pole 13 not that far out really so let's see if we can get it here they always start you off at the weirdest spot but I guess it's what ifs Pretty okay corner. See if I, I feel like if I had a bigger motor, I'd be able to really just set this in and let it glide on through. But we don't have, so it doesn't matter. We try and make up for that with the RPMs. Yikes. Got really out of shape on that back stretch. See if we can uh, improve upon that first lap. 1428 is what they're looking for for the goal. See what we can give them. Close to it, yeah. 14-12. Wow, which is third place overall. That's awesome. Starting first in the third heat. Let's we'll see if we can't take advantage of this good fortune in the top five this race, maybe. Ooh, just barely got beat by Samantha Wilson by one hundredth of a second. No shame in that. She's been uh, solid this whole year in the points. Honestly, it finishes too, but we need to do a little bit better than that. We got five laps here, it looks like. It do, it do. There are kids in the hallway having a conversation, so if you hear those, sorry about that, as my Canadian friends would say. But it looks like we are going to be able to, whoa! Barring some horrific, stupid move like that, almost was. We should be able to win this race pretty uh, convincingly. It is frustrating to win consistently in the heat races, but to just not be that great overall. And I know we're in, like, what, seventh in the points? Nothing to hit, uh, shake a stick at, but it's still, I don't know, feels like we're punching uh, above our weight class a little bit. At least in the feature races. In the heat races, it feels like, yeah, we're, we're fast, we're competitive, but 
And it seems like the skill gap between the cars are really huge. Where like if you're not top six, top seven, like, then you're just dirt slow. Anywho, let's lap a car before the end of the race just to rub it in its face a little bit. Advancing two, qualifying dash, starting third. Not bad on the inside there. Looks like we just edged out Fabingano uh, in that last race. Let's see if the Bumblebee can get something done here. See how we all sort ourselves out. Pretty similar lines. I was able to hold a little under him though. Good for me, good for me. Bob and Gano. Oh boy, I hit that. Oh no. Oh, oh, and they threw a caution after I got to dead last. Man. Green white checker. Great. And I my car is probably jacked to the moon now. Oh well. Is what it is. Engine's only at 90. Yeah. Oh, we're getting a green white checker. Did I read that wrong? Here we go. I'm an idiot. Don't do that. Trying to drive through here. If I can do a slide job under old Fabingano. Got hooked up with him again. Goodness sakes, we have had a couple of hookups with him. And that's very frustrating. Tempon? No, it's not. We're gonna get worked on the outside, which is frustrating. Wow, buddy, we really hit. I don't know what that's about. Like we hit rock bottom there. What's Jack? Is it the arrow making that much difference? I don't know, but that. Boy, oh boy. Maybe I'm just running way lower than I was. Could it be my fault? No, that's not right. Well, I still feel okay because we were fast pretty much uh, this whole race. Except for getting looped with Bob and Gano. No caution. Great. Uh, that stunk. Although I'm nervous now. I keep bouncing it down on uh, turn one. I'm not sure what is happening there. Corey Price, that degenerate, got second. But, uh... <laughs> Hopefully we don't make a habit of bouncing it off the inside like that, because it once you hit bottom like that, you're pretty much hosed on the exit. You just kind of hang on and you know, squeeze your teeth. You know what I mean? I felt like uh, there was a fair amount of passing before the line, but I guess hey, who uh, who cares, right? Right, right there, I'm setting it down real, real hard. The damage, no, damage does not carry over like I thought it did. So, just me being bad. Maybe I'm crazy, but has it been bouncing around like that when you go into one? Or am I just running as low as they are uh, happy to let me run? Go, Jeff. Slide job in. All that beating and banging and no one gained a spot. That's awesome. Well, except Wilson. He gained two of them out of it. You're welcome, bud. Here comes Mr. Fabingano on me again. That gum. That bouncing around is no bueno, man. I'd really like to figure out how to keep that from happening. I guess don't go that low, but... Hmm. I guess that's the key, huh? I feel like Jeff is definitely faster than me. I really need to hold him off, because I want this top five here. Do they all go low? I do. I just bounced into the orbit. I'm not going to do that anymore. Gonna run my line. Wow, hopefully not spin out out of the corners. Looks like there's a mess of lap cars in front of me. Hopefully we don't 
get too invested in them. Williams and Allen. Stay to the outside, please. Thank you much. Much appreciated. Ooh, guys. Oh, boy. Gentlemen. Can we please not, for two seconds, turn me into the outside wall? Boy, Christ, I do not want you beating me either. Yeah. Goodness me. Hmm. That was a frustrated crash. You guys ever have those? Uh, Alright. Hey, get your head in the game. Hopefully the damage isn't significant. There's enough. Whatever. Go for it. Guess I'm down to just throwing it in like a dork. Well, I don't know what happened to him. He got slow. Yeah, I'm getting past so hard. Ooh, tagged Fabiano. Not on purpose, believe it or not. Mm-hmm. Man, oh man, oh man. Who's leading this thing, I wonder? Ready to go green, let's go. Seven laps to go, I think. Yep. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That fountain just kills the car. My uh, damn it. Not great. Ooh, the car wanted to really turn low and stay there. Ooh. There's Fabangano. Mm-hmm. We're just holding on now. Trying to keep as many spots as we can. Ooh, who was that? Someone looped around behind me there. The Parker or Lewis, one or the other. I guess we just got together wrong. But here's Bob and Gono on the inside. Hopefully we can make some moves here. Titus O'Neil style, make a move, make a million dollar moves. Ooh, that was a million dollar move right in the middle. Holy smokes. Ooh. We're gonna have to... Oh, mama. This is a rough one today, huh? Good night. Really don't want another caution here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Keep it straight. One to go, fellas. Let's see if we can hold it together. Still seventh place. Man. That was an ugly race. Goodness sakes, goodness sakes. That was ooh, bad ugly. Who won that? Armstrong, Wilson, Corey Price. Man, that is just a very common occurrence. But whatever. It is what it is. We beat Fab and Gano, I guess, so that's good. Final results from Arrowwood. Finish British Professor. Seventh place. And we're still 8th in the season standings. Let's check out the points here. Yeah, Samantha Wilson still is hanging strong there in 2nd. I can't believe that. Corey Price is gaining. Not really, though. Man, there's a pretty big gap. I can't believe that. Oh, well. We are now, yeah, 8th place. Alright, let's get to uh, the garage. Oh, yeah, we got to see what we got paid here. Pretty good money, I think. Yeah, we did. All right, let's go to the garage and see how much damage we have to fix.
Yeah, okay, so we got 8,300, 138 fans, but we had harsh driving for the first time in our career. Yeah, I would say that was harsh. That was an ugly race. Very ugly, but whatever. So, where do we go? Sugar Bush! We had a good race at Sugar Bush last time, so... We need to uh, address some part repairs before we go. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you had a great time. Hope you had a great day. Leave a like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I will catch you guys next time. Goodbye.